Trying something new today. Uh, this is going to be making a hot sauce, or actually a mash. Uh, but I'm not going to be using a brine. I'm going to be dry, well, dryish brining it. It's uh, essentially, I'm going to take all these ingredients, um, put them in a food processor, and mash them together, and then add the amount of salt that I want to bring the salinity up. Um, so, just going to get going. 313 grams of habanero, 91 grams of some sweet red pepper, 105 grams of um, candied orange peel, 292 grams of chopped red onion, or well not chopped I guess just sort of chunked, 349 grams of shredded potatoes, 138 grams of pre-roasted garlic, all told we're sitting at 1278 grams just as is. Okay, so we want to try and hit about a 3% weight of salt, so we're talking about 36 grams. 37, that's pretty close. Uh, this is smoked sea salt, which I tend to really like because it adds a nice smoky flavor, which I think will go well in a hot sauce. Fourteen grams of cumin. Add a few cardamom pods. Incidentally, these are really fun to fry. They pop. Some coriander seeds. So this is a mash. And if you're thinking this looks a lot like you know, a hot pepper relish, it's pretty close. But there's no vinegar or anything in here. There's nothing acidic. Uh, so this will ferment and create lactic acid in place of the sugar that's in there from the uh, the orange peel. Now this is an idea that I got from Chili Chump, uh, who has who knows more about hot peppers than I will ever forget, or words to that effect. I'm going to create a very large bag here. So this is the bag that I have. Uh, I've left a lot of room in here because I'm going to suck all the air out of this, get a nice vacuum pulled so that there is no oxygen in here to be uh, messing with the fermentation process. Now this is going to generate CO2 so the bag is going to start swelling and by the time it gets to you know, a pretty, pretty inflated bag it should be ready to go. The excitement of the countdown. I put a double seal on it because this is a very wet mix and I don't know if I got that first seal that looks pretty good but uh, better safe than sorry. This goes into the fermentation bin. I think I'll just roll it up. See I've got quite a few uh, going here.